Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today we're going to do part one. This is going to be a two-parter <laughs> uh, because I went a little berserk this month. Part one of my coloring supplies and book haul for March. March? Yes, we're in March. Oh, it's been a crazy month. It's been crazy since February though, as you all know. So quickly, I have a huge stack of books over here to go through, but quickly we'll do supplies. I have just put them easy. I rounded them up. These are my, my purchases from Blick, you know, just refreshing some of my Prismacolors. I've been on operation, use all my teeny tiny baby Prismacolors. This, this was kind of like overflowing with colors. So I kind of finally cleaned out my my color thing and I ordered I ordered new colors and I'm happy to say we're, we're working it down to get rid of those but we can't waste that that's expensive money right there so we have a whole bunch of Prisma colors from Blick I think that I got these in February actually I got two they're already out of the package but the crafter square metallic markers from the dollar store I don't think I showed those I think I was using them or something and I'm so excited. It's my first purchase from Jet Pins. It's dangerous. People don't visit that site. I don't know why I went there. Let's see. Can I remember? But they're awesome. They send, uh, you know, Blick doesn't even do this. Oh, I can't open it. My, my name's there. But they send an inventory sheet with you. It's not like you got to go online and try to find your order and figure it out through that, through the inventory. So that was nice. Um... Let's see, what did we get? And it came really quickly, too. So, oh, I now remember why I went there. And actually, it made my Blick order less because stuff on jet pins was cheaper. So, I went, I was looking for more Micron pins. Now that I'm doing a black and white book, I love, I love the blood, the brush tip and the graphic one tip. So I bought some of those. I think I bought two, two of each of those. Just replacements. Mine are running out now. And I thought I would try, I haven't even looked at them yet, the graphic two. Oh, it's like a calligraphy pen. Huh. Let's see, and this is the Graphic 3 pen. Another calligraphy pen. I'll have to play with those. I don't want to do calligraphy, but I was hoping, I was hoping they were going to be like the Graphic 1 pen, which is not a calligraphy pen. I was hoping they'd be bigger, but not. But we'll see how they work. I was hoping for something to do bigger areas with. And while I was there, I saw these. These are the Le Pen by Marvy, they're basically, I haven't even looked at these either, but they're basically like the, the Micron, they're just cheaper, so I thought I'd give them a try. I got a couple, a couple of those. The brush pin looks exactly like the other brush pin. Brush, okay, where is it? Here we go. Oh, this is called the drawing pin, I guess. Pretty much looks like the brush on the, the Micron. I thought I'd give those a try because they are about, I think these were all $2.50 each. They're more expensive on Blick. And these were $1.80. So if they work like the Microns, that might be a thing. I also like the art lines. Do I have one? I think I have one left. I also like the art lines. Those are cheaper. They have a slightly different nib to them. The nib has a totally different feel. They may look the same. But it has a different feel and sometimes I use those in areas where I don't want to use the micron. So we're giving those a try. And I needed another yellow because my yellow's almost out. That was from my my page in the Sum Sum coloring book. I blew through the yellow. I wanted to order these dark colors because I only have these, I think. Yeah, probably those. And I had them all in my cart, and then the yellows were back-ordered. I think some of these might have been back-ordered, too. I don't know. Um, so it was just easier to get the, the set because stuff was back-ordered. So, But again, cheaper there than at 
at Blick. So I got, because I was out of pink, these are Pentel Dual Hybrids. I got another pink. I got another black metallic red because where has this color been my whole life? I used all the pink on that cat page that I did in Mid-Century Modern Animals. And then I got two of each. These are the special edition. They don't come in the dual metallic hybrid pack. They are so tiny. Light green and metallic blue red. And it said last chance. I didn't know if that meant they're going to stop making them and not carry them anymore. So I got two of each. Because why not? If they're not going to have them anymore, I don't know. Maybe I was suckered in there. This is gold, metallic, red, and gold. And this is turquoise. It has to be turquoise because I remember turquoise. So those are kind of special editions that don't come in the pack. Got those. And then, since Jelly Rolls are my favorite gel pen, I got the 16 set of metallic jelly rolls. I think I may have a couple of these colors, but not many. And I got the 1.01s because those are the only ones I like. I don't like the ones that are skinnier than that. These are also the 1.0s. Yeah. Yeah. So went berserk at jet pin. But again, like I said, the, the prices seem cheaper there and it's certain, it's like if you order, I forget, like 35, you get free cheap shipping. So so that's good. So let's see what we went berserk on. All right. So I started ordering. There's a story behind this. I started ordering, uh, you know, since oh, the stupid AI art is flooding, flooding the Amazon coloring book market and I'm not buying anything. AI. I'm not supporting that. Um, I started buying, uh, old, older books that will probably be going out of print or are already out of print. And so I was getting Tangle Magic, Tanglewood, and Tangle Bay. Unfortunately, this is what they sent me instead of Tangle Bay. So Tangle Bay is on its way. So they told me I could keep this, but uh, yeah, that'll go to the thrift store because I'm not going to read that. Reading used to be my hobby before I discovered coloring, but I only have time for one hobby, so... So yeah, we got Tangle Manage, Magic, sorry. Um, and this is the nine inch book. If we measure it against a 10 inch book, so it looks like that. The old, now they sell the 10 inch book if you can get it. Uh, that's the latest version, but I kind of wanted all the nine inch ones. So I scoured, I scoured looking for those. This one came pristine. I can't remember from what third party seller, but it's nice. Now this is a warning to this third party seller. Let me zoom you in a smidge here. If you see something called Thrift Books Seattle, don't buy whatever they're selling. They lie. I complained to Amazon and they gave me a full refund on this. Now this one they were selling like new. I'll show you what's going on there, like new. This one they said was very good. Those are the two that I order off Amazon. I order like new and very good. And it usually has to have the, the saying, the pages are unmarked or unmarred or whatever. Because if they come with coloring on them, I'm going to complain that they said that. So, like new. And it had that saying, pages are unmarked. Wait till you see this. I counted it. 26 pages. 26 are ruined somehow either by a little bit or a lot so yeah this one's going in the garbage a lot of times they used alcohol markers so two pages are ruined and hey that's okay with me if it's your book and you want to do that go for it but don't sell it as a like new book and say the pages are unmarked so yeah that's a total disappointment 26 i believe if i'm remembering correctly so we'll throw that one on the floor going in the garbage. All right. Thrift Book Seattle. Yeah, don't buy from them. No. They sold this one as like to new and said pages unmarked, uh, cover in great shape or whatever it is they say. There was scribbling all over the cover. Little bit here, more back here. 
Oh no, did I put it away? I think I put it away. Scribbling back here, I got it off. After Amazon told me I didn't have to send them back and I could, and they were going to refund me the full money, I then went about trying to save it to see if I could. And it's hard to see now. I'll show you what I used to erase it. Uh, there were scribbles all over here. I couldn't, I couldn't get this off as much. You can probably still see the orange, but there were scri orange scribbles all over here. And there's a page colored, and there were scribbles all over this page as well. That was like new. No pages are marked. <laughs> okay, they lie. So once it was free and I didn't have to send it back, I decided I'd go about and see if I could fix it. So I used, first I tried my handy dandy electric eraser. That didn't work at all. So then I got out my dollar store eraser and that worked in some areas, like it worked pretty well on the cover areas, but didn't get everything. And in here and here, but what really worked, this is a dollar store eraser. I can't tell you any more than that, was this eraser. And I wish I could tell you what it was, but I don't know. This was something free in a, I don't know, in, in a little pack of something somewhere along the way. It has no writing on it whatsoever. It's magic. Oh my gosh, especially especially on the cover. Like, it just, you can't hardly even see it now. Well, okay, if I hold it up really close, maybe you can. Um, and I have to wear my glasses to see it. Otherwise, I'm not going to see it. Worked pretty well on most of the orange here, except some of this that was really indented in there really well. I believe, oh yeah, like even in here was a really dark line. It did really good. And unfortunately, me, the art teacher, I don't know what kind of eraser this is. It feels like, unlike anything I've ever, it doesn't feel like a pink eraser. It doesn't feel like the white erasers. It doesn't even feel, it feels closest to, but it's not the same. The soap erasers, Blick sells a soap eraser. It feels a little bit like that they're white. Or at least they used to sell them. I don't know if they do anymore. I've taught ceramics for several years now, so I don't know. Uh, it doesn't feel like anything I've ever, I've ever experienced. So I can't even tell you what it is. Sorry, but it's magic. So that's tangled wood. I had to work for it, but it's fine. I'll keep it. All right, also from either new or like new, I don't know what it was. No, this one has a remainder mark, so it must have been like new. The one I'm missing from the Daria songbooks, the time chamber, this one came pristine. I don't remember which company sent this one, but I'm pretty sure I've used this company before. And these two, I think, came from Bellwether Books. They seem quite reputable. These also have the remainder mark on them, so they were sold as, as like new, I guess. Fairies in Wonderland. I got the entire fairies books. And this one, this is, they're, they're good. I really, I'll show you what set that off in this pile over here, but I really like this illustrator style. Who is this? This is... Marcos Chin. Now, Fairies in Wonderland, the paper's really thin. I mean, it's not really thin. It's not like Amazon paper or anything. It's respectable. But in the other two books, Mermaids in Wonderland and Elves in Wonderland, the paper's like super thick. I was looking at the... carefully at the books, and I noticed that these... the. The other one and this one came after this one, so maybe this one sold really well and then they upped the they upped the the paper value in the second one. But yeah, I got the whole series. There's three in this series. Fairies, mermaids, and elves. So those were all my kind of used books this month. And then I went crazy. You've already seen this, but um, at Book Outlet was had a bunch of really good books. Um, 
And I've just made two more orders at Book Outlet because now they're having a super awesome sale with some very unusual coloring books. So that's why this is a two-parter. We got Planet of the Apes, Unknown Illustrator. I've already done a flip through. It's already up on my channel, so you can check that out. It's really cool comic book style. It reminds me a bit of, oh, the mouse book, Mouse Guard. In the way it's drawn, heavy use of black. It's really cool. I really like this one. The other movie, old movie book I got, which I really, really like, The Dark Crystal. These are all from Book Outlet, as I said. You know, most of the time I go to Book Outlet and I can't find $35 worth of stuff, but sometimes, every once in a while, and it seems like it's usually after Christmas. Although it's last year when I ordered, it seemed like it was earlier in the year. That's when they probably get all the excess from the stores and they... They have good coloring books. I also got Zendoodle Colorscapes Enchanting Islands. This one I've wanted for a long time. I actually saw it. One of my first coloring book forays when I went into Phoenix. I saw this one in, oh, what's the store? It's not Joanne's Hobby Lobby. But it was like, I don't know, $15 or something. I'm like, I'm not buying that for $15. But on Book Outlet, I don't know, six, seven, eight, whatever it was. Like, okay, I'll get that now. It's by Deborah Muller. I love Deborah Muller. She's really good. And we know she's not AI. All right, super cool. My other, my first Wonderland book, this is Elves in Wonderland, kind of started me down that the rabbit hole. Once I saw this one, I'm like, I looked at the flip throughs. I'm like, I rather like that style, but I waited for it to come in person because I'm like, how good will it look in in real life? But it looks really good. It looks better in real life than it does on camera, I think. Yeah, I like this illustrator a lot. So yeah, I got the whole the whole series. And then the whole thing that sucked me in. They had so many of these mythographic, well, this is basically a mythographic book, but this is Mythagoria. They had a whole bunch of these mythographic books, and I didn't get them all. Only the ones I wanted. Although they didn't have the one I really want, which is Magical, Magical Earth. It's been that kind of day, people. Um, can't talk. So I got, I got several of the ones I thought I liked. I mean... I've kind of been inspired lately. I've seen a lot of people doing color alongs in them. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And then they were on sale. So I'm like, deeply discounted. So I'm like, yeah, okay. Because gosh, coloring books are getting expensive. These are going for like $17 now. And on, on Book Outlet, I think they were all in the, I want to say $7 to $9 range, we'll say. If I'm remembering correctly. So what's this one? This is Menagerie by Fabiana Atanasio. They're not new. I'm sure you all have seen these. Wild Winter. I know. This one has hidden objects, but I have loved some of the art I've seen come out of these. And so it was super cheap. Might have even been in the $6 range. I can't remember. So I got it. I may kick myself later for this, but because those hidden objects make me a little crazy. Although lately a lot of people have been talking about how they cover them, they ignore them, they just color them in. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe they've changed my mind on that. I'll give it a try, we'll see. So Wild Winter by Joseph Cattenbang and Voyage by Joseph Cattenbang. Nothing new here. Like I said, I think I only ordered half the ones that they had. Some of the other ones didn't interest me too much. And the one Mythagoria I got, because the other one's not so much. I can't remember what the other one was called. This one's Night Terrors. I rather like this one. The other one seemed a little bit boring when I looked carefully at the flip-throughs. I do love the gory stuff, though. Look away, Maya, look away. <laughs> but yeah, right now, this week... And actually, by the time this airs, it will be next week. So sorry about that. They're having a five for one, buy five, get one free. 
And of course, I did my strategy where when I do it through Amazon, when they have their three for two sale, I buy like the expensive books in one thing. So I get a nice expensive book for free. And then I buy a separate cart of cheaper books because they always take the lowest, lowest price one off. So I did the same thing. And so 12 more books are coming next week. <laughs> so that's why we're going to have two parts. Because it's hard for me to upload long, long videos and apparently talk through them as I have stumbled through my words today. So that is it. That's my exciting half of my haul for March. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful week. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.